I can't stress enough how appreciative your loved ones are when you reach out to them um, either by contacting a psychic or a medium or anyone that does the work that I do so that they can contact you or you can contact them and allow that communication to, to, to you know just transmute because I've always seen this in my readings that beyond just having a message for you or talking to you or confirming that they are right they also have a very long-winded approach um, regarding a whole bunch of other people and on top of that you yourself think that you have this VIP list of people that you want to connect with but there's a whole bunch of other people that want to connect with you that you've forgotten about and a lot of the times um, as much as they want to give you whatever information they want to give you these people have information on other people related to you. So whether it's a cousin, whether it's an uncle, whether it's an aunt, whether it's health related issues, whether it's psychological issues, whether it's emotional issues, they go as far back as literally explaining. Um, so you are here and then they literally like your great grandfather or great grandmother would come through and say, hey, the issue that you're dealing with now psychologically or emotionally that started like two generations ago and it's our fault. So don't think it's yours. That, as a witness, just watching it, because I'm just a vessel, I just say things, but just watching it, I mean, that is just the most amazing thing. But what I also notice is that it becomes very overwhelming for you, the recipient, because you sitting there and you trying to connect all the dots to all these people. And when I say a whole bunch of people in spirit come through for you, I mean a whole bunch. These are individuals that have passed um, for 20, 40, 60, like a, sh a shit long time I mean great great grandmothers is a long long time ago you know uh, great great grandfathers is a long long time ago so they are sitting there and they literally each like year goes by each 10 years go by 50 years go by and no one is connecting because either the family doesn't believe in the stuff I do or this kind of line of work so no one opens themselves up and no one allows that communication between the spirit world your family in spirit and these individuals who are on earth so they sit and they sit and they sit and then finally you book a session and boom there's like a flood of messages that come in and that's why to me I thought cool the sessions are only going to be an hour long. Ha! My sessions on average now is like an hour 40 minutes. I did a two hour session just the other day and I literally I had to cut it short because there was just too much messages. And the reason why there's so many messages coming through for people is because no one in the family entertains this kind of thing. So it takes one person out of like three generations to finally open the vessel and communicate with these individuals, your loved ones on the other side that have been waiting for someone, waiting for someone. And when I say I feel the joy that comes through on their behalf, man, there's nothing, there's not like a way I can transmute that energy. The only way I can like explain it is by words, but that falls short as well because I can't stress how excited they are that someone someone from the family finally comes up and says hi it's the equivalent of going to a grave but the only difference is they can talk to you now they can literally give you information and you can sit back and be like holy shit this is real this is not a joke and I can't stress enough how sad it is for some of them because the like literally generations generations go by and no one in the family wants to talk to them both on your mom and dad's side like think about it if you don't book a session with me who talks to your family who what kind of validation do you get if you're not open to dream dreams um which is one way they visit you and all the other ways they communicate with you how else do they communicate with you who's open and if the whole family is just blocked off to this kind of communication and this reality then they sit in spirit literally just waiting waiting and some of your family as i've experienced have been waiting for like three generations to hear the granddaughter finally book a session and then they get to hear about the granddaughter or talk to the granddaughter or grandson so i can't i'm not saying you should do this i always say that spiritually you should be drawn to things and whether you book a session with me or whether you book a session with someone else, whether you are 60 years old or whether you are 15 years old, the point is, male or female, 
you have a bloodline whether you like it or not. You have people on your mom's side, people on your dad's side. They are people that have passed on and they are waiting to talk to you. They are waiting with a wealth of information to communicate with you. And it's, it's the most amazing feeling to basically MC a family reunion. Because that's what I feel like I'm doing. I genuinely feel like I'm sitting there in the middle of all of this. And I'm just having a family reunion. But I'm MC, MCing it. I'm, I'm the one just giving each one information. And I feel like once you do a session with whoever does this kind of work. You just allow that bond to become stronger. Because now you... you Getting rid of the old programming, which is um, communicating with your family is impossible. The physical body is dead. Therefore, the energy is dead. So they'll never be there or I can't talk to them. Now you're realizing that, holy shit, when I talk to them in my dreams and my prayers, they actually listening. They actually responding because that's part of the brief. If you book a session with me, I tell you before you talk to me, tell them you're going to be talking to me so that I can give you validation of whoever comes through. And if the same people you spoke to come through in the session, boom, boom, bam. You get what I'm saying? So I just thought I'd give you a little heads up, especially um, regarding the psychic medium stuff and especially just giving you a background in terms of how spirits feel, how your loved ones feel in spirit. They're very much alive. They keep their personalities and they miss you, live, miss you and love you dearly. I can't stress that enough. And in so many ways, they want to make sure that you don't make the same mistake they made in terms of watering down spiritual practices and understanding how powerful this is, especially when it comes to helping the family the family because there's a lot of human things we are worried about so this one doesn't talk to us that one doesn't talk to us oh they 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 they're not worried about that bullshit they want you to transcend that and and be tight and and live with love and if you don't do that they've got messages for you i've seen it so i hope this explains what i do and what others in my field do and if you feel pulled towards doing this you have a nice understanding now of both sides and you know, the, 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 if you feel overwhelmed during a session, don't be surprised because, like I said, they've been waiting to talk to you, both on your mom's side and dad's side. They've been waiting. It's not just one or two people you think is there for you. If you do a session with me, jeez, man, there's a shitload of people coming through, but I welcome them all in love and light, and it's such a beautiful, beautiful feeling to be part of that. So, um... Do make sure you book a session if you are interested and uh, only do it if you feel pulled spiritually to do so, okay?